We just landed at Old Warden, which is the home of the Shuttleworth Collection. It's also the home of the Avro Anson that we're going to be displaying today at RAF Cosford. We've got a few things to do before we get going. We've got to do the ground brief and ring Cosford and get their latest weather as well. It's going to be about a two hour flight round trip, an hour from Old Warden up to Cosford and the hold, uh, about an eight minute display, eight to ten minutes, and then we're going to depart south westbound and head back to Old Warden. I'm here today with Peter Cossagoran, who's an experimental test pilot for BAE Systems operating the Hawk F-35 from Typhoon. So here we are at Old Warden in Bedfordshire, the home of the, uh, the Shuttleworth Collection, uh, which has uh, an absolutely fabulous and unique collection of aircraft that, uh, that are flying. From the Blackburn monoplane, uh, all the way back from the First, First World War and pre-war with the Blerio aircraft, all the way up to some more modern aircraft like the Piston Provost. So the Anson is based here and engineered here by the expert engineers that work for the Shuttleworth Collection, but it's actually owned by BAE Systems and it's flown and operated by the Heritage Flight. We also have a Blackburn B2 and a de Havilland uh, Cirrus Moth. The Anson is one of my favourites. It's a post-war aircraft, this version, and it was used for civilian transport during the uh, 40s, 50s and into the 60s. Actually purchased by BAE Systems from the Strathallan collection. I believe it was in the, in the 70s, and then it was restored by enthusiasts who were working for, in those days, British Aerospace. Off to Cosford. Cosford Tower is the final frequency. We'll have, we'll have that on COM2, 12865. That's when we're, when we're clear to run in for the display. Initial contact frequency is going to be Shawbury Approach, 13315. We'll have that on COM1 with Cosford Approach after that. I'd like to get there with about 10 minutes to hold, so we've just got you know, enough time if they bring us forward or if there's a snag or anything or we get airborne late. We've got the pressure, 1002. Very windy there, but it's not on crowd. It's straight down the strip, yeah. so ground speed issues with the downwind flight, but other than that's fine. The aircraft before us are the BBMF and our slot is 12.22 and 12.30 and when we depart, I'd like to depart on the westerly heading with that 360 degree turn and then and leave to the south after that. Okay, start. Okay, now. Pressure all temperature. It's a bit cooler now, we've got the fan at the front. Okay, same with the left then, if you just hold the... Uh... Here we go. Okay, and starting. Okay, now. Come on. Sit. Sit on. There we go. We're on. Probably not enough throttle. Free taxi, so passenger door, pneumatic air supply, we've put the flaps up, brakes are good. Check the flight instruments and then we've got the run up and then the uh, check. All water and Anson taxi to hold. Anson taxi hold runway 21, QNH 1012. 1012 taxi to hold runway 21. 1012. Uniform formation now in left pair. Cocked on to uniform formation, report to mine. The uniform formation will be. That's a lot of other travel. Uniform CO, taxi, go. Two on board. You might have to adjust the uh, point about some taxi call. Uh, then to two on. Jeffy 1009. Just because. Good play with the SCO, yeah, they got that. Okay, warm up, so set a thousand. Dead, dead cut check. Uh, static boost, we're going to do a left engine. Oh, what the hell are we going to do? Papa Victor, request taxi. Papa Victor, taxi, hold runway 21. Curfee, now 1008. Bigger engine, 21100. Okay, Victor, 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 Victor,
at your discretion. 250 degrees, 1 street maximum, 20 knots. Exercise caution, please, as you cross the road, just short of the runway. Exercise caution, cross the road, and my discretion is on the other side It's effective wind shear and turbulence as you cross the road. Light comes on. Okay, done that. Right, we take off. Bims, emergency briefing, then we got to, uh, at uh, 80 knots. Yep. Blue line. Uh, we're not going to take you, we're not going to use any flap. That's 60, 65, we're getting airborne, climb away. If we uh, leave the gear down, if we have an engine failure on the ground or just just airborne with the gear down, we'll try and land ahead. We'll crank it right, there's a little bit of a field to the right, otherwise there's a, there's, there are trees and there's a lake. And yep. There's a good field on the left-hand side, we'll do our best. We'll try and climb away. This is the gear handle, this is the catch and the gear handle. We'll operate, we'll operate, we'll operate, we'll operate. We'll operate. We'll operate. We'll operate. We need to move that. This is a, we've had an engine, so if we have an engine failure, I'll identify the engine that's failed, I'll put my finger on it, and make sure, just looking out at where my legs are, to make sure that obviously I've selected the right engine. Yep. Throttle, feather, and then there's a feather button, feather button up here that we'll put on as well, and then we'll switch the fuel cock off, and we'll double triple check that before we actually do it. But we need to get the engine feather to climb away on full power on the other engine. Thank you. Okay, uh, throttle flexion air intake heat, air cleaner, RPM levers, we're both at maximum rear. Yeah, fuel cocks are on, just check down there, they're all the way up. Fuel cocks are on, indicating good flaps are up, and the, and the uh, control is neutral. And the, the, the windows and hatches are all closed, transponders on 7000, flight controls, just check that again. Alpha hotel, Bravo Lima, where are you now, sir, just a second? Just in the overhead, to descend on the dead side. Roger. And checking the pedals, and the engine instruments are all reading good, including the fuel pressures. And harness and tight lock, just make sure your harness is tight locked. Yep. That will fix up there. Okay, bring it off. Got to blow three moths get uh, in the way. Hold water, Hanson, ready for departure. Hanson, runway 21, take off your discretion. Service wind 250 degrees, 12 maximum, 20 knots. Take off, Hanson. Go to the zero, Roger. Okay, we are clear for take off. Everything's looking good. Weather's nice. Trims are all uh, set. Gotcha. Okay, and you ready? Um. Okay, here we go. Let's see how much it vibrates. A little bit, a little bit of wind from the right. Golf, golf, radio checking. Golf, golf, radio. Let's go power action. Westbound, and after about a 40 minute transit, we're in the hold near Cosford. I definitely have to say a huge thank you to Planes TV. Planes TV actually streamed the display live on the day, which you can watch on their YouTube channel, and they're even making a DVD of the full day flying. So, thanks again to them and for sending me the footage of our display, which I've put into the video here. The journal's now about to run into the display at Cosford. Anthem, Cosford approach. Recontact Cosford Tower now, frequency 128 one, two, eight, six, five, and the door. Echo, two, three, one, click it. Thompson's Tower, traffic information, Belvide Reservoir to the northeast, three miles, Anson aircraft to 2,000 feet. Thompson, let's go to the level at 1,400, looking. On the nose, just right. Kelly House. Comfort, Anson. Anson, Cosford Tower, good afternoon, runway 24, QP, 1001. 241001, Anson. Thompson, 13587, 13587, go 6, 3, 4. Tower, Roger. Notice this 
display frequency now. That is the display frequency, we're all record set, so uh, Roger, next call running in, and we're at minute one five. Anson Tower, if you're happy, uh, commence your display now. Anson, uh, approaching the hold, running in. Roger, for information, we're one helo in the climb out uh, below a thousand feet to doing a footex. He'll be remaining north of the centre line. That's enough copy, we're probably uh, just over three minutes in there. Okay, engine, fuel, plug, fuel pressures, all looking good. We're going to go to uh, display power, keep the heights up, no point in descending. Too early. We're about two and a half boost, something like that. Yep. Get a good, good get that nice into wind. Uh, think about how the wind's going to affect us, so we need to extend into wind before turning back. Roger. Sure. That's going to be important.
you're okay. Alpha Whiskey Golf. Whiskey Golf Cross said uh, the Anson just complete that way. You're clear for takeoff, so this wind 210, 15 knots. Golf Whiskey Golf, clear for takeoff. Roger, understand left turn out towards your base. I found left turn out, I'm good. Good work, Carl. Nice, right, it's teamwork. Back to the crew, that's fine. Uh, 
Good tanker, sir. Uh, good morning again. Join two. Oh, we didn't, we didn't expect one. anything. And you're landing at uh, the zero six hundred. Two four copy with uh, the area at the far end. Roger, uh, if you could land long and report final. Uh, head of tow just there, Bourne, and then Amson departing. Roger, Bourne, 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 Amson departing. Under the uh, far end when two one into the eighteen knots. Bell and far end. That was probably uh, ten minutes. We were only supposed to do eight minutes. I reckon we did ten. Time it worked out within, I'd say within twenty seconds. So like Cosmic Nova, Vortex, uh, three four five. Three four five. Good morning. Good morning. That's Cosmic approach. Cosmic approach. Anton. Anton. Cosmic approach. Good afternoon again. This is 1,000 to altitude 1,500 feet. Answer 245, what's your basic service? Basic pressure 1001, report changing on route. Basic service 1011, we'll kill answer. Watch out, and the basic pressure 1001. Correction 1001, answer. We're now rejoining the circuit, Old Warden, on the runway 2, 1. Left hand. We're out a little bit in, and we'll keep a, keep a few, 5 or 10 knots on. Yeah. The winch here, which does often cause a problem. We've got the extension, so if we go over the road, I'm not going to hammer the brakes. I've got a brake in the dead side, descending to a left hand side, but they do what? Yes, sir, Roger. There's other boost pumps you can hear now. It could be that there's a warning if you've got the throttles all the way back. I'm not sure whether that's the audio warning. About 75 on the approach, I think maybe, yeah, 75 gives us a little bit of fat. Reasonably tight pattern, I'm going to try and turn, and turn inside the village. Obviously, as we go, as we turn into wind, we're going to be uh, struggling to make headway. Flat down there. That's the final command, runway 21. Hanson, runway 21, land your discretion. 24016, max 123. Land Hanson. The socks moving around a little bit. Yeah. The advantage of a wind like this is that you know you can fly. You don't need to fly. You can fly a tight circuit like I'm doing now because the bound speed is so low. Just it does. There's a lot of uh, turbulence off these trees. I'm not exaggerating. And before flat down, you can see the airspeed probably changing around quite a bit. So we've 
got all the runway available, so there's no need to land early, and there's no need to land slow. I might point slightly into wind. Right, we lost a bit of speed there. That's better. So that's a good speed. And the power off. And lose it there. Quite happy to walk on, should it be necessary. So I'm happy we're going over the road. Little bit of break. I think coming. Anton, you can 180 backtrack down the runway to the intersection to avoid the wall. 180 backtrack, Anton, thanks very much. Laps up. Very nice, cars. Yeah, that was alright, actually. We could have easily stopped before the road, but no need. No need. And I think with a wind like that, or with a crosswind, Three-point landing probably isn't appropriate. No. Did it feel quite gusty? Uh, it's just a, just a speed change. You know, I, I got, it got down to about six or sixty-five, which is okay for landings. But um, you know, you need it. And then I've, I've overshot before because I've seen it go up by fifteen knots. I don't want to be too fast, but I think so long as you've got enough speed, you don't make a really you don't make a late change. We landed in at height and then. So, to be honest, it was uh, quite comfortable. The aircraft was so quite. Yeah. Now it's trying to turn into trying to turn into wind. There's a castering tailwheel. There's a pain in the bum. I can feel the wind blowing the rudder, trying <laughs> to move the pedals. Try and use asymmetric power to, to steer as well, but it, it's a bit of a juggle. Obviously, it's a bit of a, bit of a handful of controls as yeah. well, especially with throwing them so much. But the flaps are.